Well, it's starting to mist rain. Let's see if we can get this thing fixed. Or sometimes if it's the that module, sometimes it will um, work once it's cooled down. Let's uh, tear it apart, see what's wrong with it. So I pulled that module out of uh, another distributor that I had. And um, the, what was I gonna say? The, um, I found testing procedures for a four pin module, but I didn't find them for a five pin module. So, know about testing it um, hmm that. I thought that vacuum line was touching but it's not all right so like I said we had we bypassed the ESC module that didn't fix it so let's take the cap off and we'll take a look at the um, module. All right, so I got the module out. Distributor caps off, I had to take two plug wires off to be able to flip it over. I have to remember where those two went. And this is the module that came out of it. This one's made in Mexico. It's a 5C01. This one is a 3G30. This is the one that I had. And it's a made in Singapore. And it didn't look like maybe it had just a touch of thermal paste on it. This one maybe just a touch also. So we're going to test the, the uh, I don't even know what you call it. The igniter? I think it's the igniter. Of course, this is on the distributor I have, but you take the green and white wires and you check ohms between those two. So I'm on the green, the white, and the green. So that's 1,000 ohms, so that's 880 ohms. It should be between 500 and 1,500 or something like that, I think. So this one is good. I'll check the one. Under there, it's just I can't. I have to lay on the truck to get in there to it, so I won't show that. But I'm gonna do the same thing I did here to over there and check the ohms. And if that tests good, I'll probably go ahead and throw this module in it if it works. I don't know what the difference is between these two. Probably a different timing curve, um, but it should get it running. And then um, if it works, I'll get me another module, and I need to find some thermal compound for it. So let me get this thing in here, or let me test the igniter, then we'll get this thing in here. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and, before I went to all this trouble of swapping the module, I know I pulled the other one off, but I'm going to put some thermal compound and put it back in. I wanted to do some testing on, make sure the coil looked okay. So I pulled the cap off, the top of the distributor cap, the little coil cover. And there's two things I noticed. One, um, you see on this one, of course, this this was a working coil. I had it in my 81K10, and it um, it was working. And I took it apart to put a um, MSD coil or something in it, some upgraded coil. And when I pulled the cap off, I saw all this rust in there. <clears throat> Evidently, at some point, it had sat upside down. Um, so, if you see, it's got a ground strap. Um, this one, it's all rusty, so it's not too good anymore, but it grounds the coil. Um, well, that one, if you look, it doesn't have a ground strap, it has a ground wire, which I guess that's fine. But you, if you also see that red wire right there, it's got a little bit of a cut in it. It's not in two, but it's got a cut in it. Uh, shouldn't hurt it, but...
but I'm thinking thinking about maybe swapping this coil out. So I tested this one. This one reads 0.6 ohms. That one reads 0.5. They should read under one ohm if they're good. So both of these test good, even though that one's all rusty. So that should be a good coil. Coil should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with swapping the module out. All the wires and everything look good there, except for that red wire, which had a little bit of a cut in it. But we won't worry about the red one. So now we just need to... Um, I'll put that cover back on it, and we'll uh, put some thermal compound on this module and put it in there and see if it cranks. All right, got the distributor back on, and um, let's see what it does. Or got the cap back on. Um, the power wire still plugged in. Yeah, it is. Okay. Still nothing. Of course, it's not saying that that module's any good that I had. All right, let's. We're gonna get it. Let me get a test light, and we're gonna test the coil wire. We should be able to see if it's telling it to fire. Alright, so we're going to test the, um, to see if it's calling for fire. So we've got the, um, test light hooked up to the positive and then the, to the TAC. So this should be giving it a TAC signal of firing. That's firing. The plugs. Oh man, we need a new cap. Like I said, um, so what I did, <clears throat> I can see that while I'm cranking, it's not firing, but yet it's calling for it to fire. I probably should have checked that before I swapped the module out, but I was really certain it was the module. Um, what I'll probably do, because that is a good module, um, if this one, if once I get it going, I'll probably put this one back in and see if it still works. If it does, um, I'll... Uh, Put this one uh, up, or put the other one up. Um, we'll, if this one is a good one, we'll use it. So, like I said, it's not firing, and the um, but it's calling for it to fire. So it tells me the module's good. It's got to be the coil, or something to do with the coil, you know. The rotor's good, 
The cap looks fine. It's got some corrosive, cro corroded uh, terminals. It, I need to put plugs and wires on this thing, but it shouldn't keep it from running. So <clears throat> let me get the cap off. It looks like we're going to have to swap in this uh, coil. I'm wondering if I should just swap. I might just swap this whole cap on there. Probably easier than trying to get this coil out of there as bad as it looks. I think that's a good uh, good idea. Let's swap this cap on. We'll see if it runs. All right. So that cap's on. I just quickly labeled the plugs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just they're not what cylinder they are. They're just the order that they go in on the cap. Because the way these plug wires are run, they run up under the intake or up under the exhaust manifold. You can't tell what's what. So um, I just picked a spot, started at it, labeled them so I could pull all the wires off, put them all on the other cap, and get them in the right order. So let's see what it does now. Hmm. I'm really baffled here. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to think about this for a minute. Check. We got a weird issue going on. I think if the module was bad, of course that bad that coil could be bad I and mean, it's pretty rusty. Hmm. Tack wire back up. All right, so I've got got a problem. Um, not a problem. I think I found a problem. So, kind of going through this. Oops. So the coil should read between 6,000 ohms and 30,000 ohms. So between the power lead and this carbon thing. So if we look, What's going on? No, we're not reading anything. What's going on? Okay. I just tested this. Alright. So between the power, let's just shove one of these in here. There we go. It's making good contact. I got nothing now. Alright. Let's test this side of it. 0.5. See, that side tests fine. This other side, I tested it a couple times and I was getting like 1 million ohms. Which is out of spec. Alright, between the
battery terminal of the coil and the carbon pickup inside the distributor cap. Battery positive. And the carbon pickup. Why is it not working now? Well, let me. I got one other idea. Let me go get it. All right, so we got this old Excel super coil. You can see it's got a little rust on it. I got all the most of this stuff in a back of a truck when I bought the truck. So some, some of it had been sitting in the truck. Like this coil. This one's not near as bad as that other one. But it's missing a uh, terminal. But I can use it to test. I'll put that lead there. It's hard to do one handed. Point seven two thousand ohms. So that would be eighty thousand, is that right? Yeah. Eighty thousand ohms. Yeah. Could you move the decimal point over three three places? So it'd be eighty thousand. And what did this say? I think I said between 30 and 6,000 and 30,000. So yeah, that's right. So that one tests good. Going back to this one. Nothing. I'm going to take this cap back off. I'm thinking this was a working coil, and I'm wondering now if it because it is rusty if it's got a bad contact somewhere the other thing I've thought about is seeing if I can uncrimp that red wire on there throw this coil on this cap or on this cap either one and try that see if it works